Welcome back to the Buckeye State Wells. Today is October 28th of 2023. I have decided just to do some more well fitting. And not only that we're doing more well fitting, we're checking out the autumn colors. It's because, well, it's fall and autumn colors usually come along fall. And it's really cool to get a train by them. So that's why we're here down in Marion. I only than that. We're just here to down here to meet up with some buddies of mine that haven't seen me in quite a while. So I decided just to make the downward an hour and a half drive to Marion. Even though we got here when M364 was just about to go around the curve and 364 just came through the curve when I was just arriving.
NS270 is basically a daily and a model from Chicago to Columbus, Ohio. He runs on the Fostoria District and then runs on to the Sandusky District. So, the so fact explains it, that explains it all. Anywho, I was unexpected to see 4005. I was not really expecting of seeing anything special today. I was most likely to expect seeing Gmos, which is fine. But 4005 is a little treat for me. I was flying a drone, but I decided eh, it's a little laggy. I did not want to put that in the video anyway. It would be sure that we would have another animal on the NS Sandusky district. The fact that we had a white face leading the way, and um, we would manage to get this good shot over here at the crossing. And I was thought we would have no more animals, but besides this one, this one is the last one of the morning. Didn't have anything special besides a white face. That was 10 minutes after 270 went by.
I-008 would be the next train on the B line. I-008 is one of the hot shot in the model that runs on the B line. I-008 and I-007 is the only in the models that run on the B line besides 131 and 132. But they don't run through Marion, they just run westward of town and other stuff on the B line. Anywho, it just had a bunch of Jeevos on I-008, so we don't really care about it, whatever. Just getting some good shots, I'm trying, because I only had like 10 minutes to spare, because I was trying to get ready and stuff, so that was the only time I had to get ready. And it's 170 northbound Clare, Marion, Ohio with a duo of Gilos. So that doesn't matter. But at least we're getting something on the Sandusky district. Usually we don't get much on the Sandusky district, but today we are getting a lot. We have gotten tons of it so far. Those cold drags are loaded, so I don't know if they're going to get dropped somewhere or what. They're loaded somewhere. Unless this is a full frame with manifest cut. But this is either 178 or 170.
we would get another turn on the B line. This is 331. So, it's a daily manifest from Clumberland all the way to Avon, Indiana. With a 3 row duo in the lead. So, that doesn't really matter. We can see the Cuban a lot. So, that doesn't really matter. We're getting trained. So, whatever. They usually have intermodal cut and up front. And then manifest in the back. So, that's usually what their train is. It's daily. I don't go to Marion much anymore. So, we get autumn colors here, which is pretty cool. NF, 11V, cleared Marion, with a Jeevo solo leading. This is a short r white train, bound for Wellnoak, Indiana. They're usually pretty long with the two units in the lead, but today, they're pretty short. With solo GE in the lead. But, they can be long with the solo leader, and have a big DPU, but today, they did not have that. Managed story, they just have the one unit in the lead and have a whole bunch of all the way.
We would technically get another southbound on the Sandusky District. This one is an ethanol train. From Chicago to Salama, North Carolina. With a two duo of AC-6Ms. So that wasn't really special. But hearing that horn, I thought it would be 4001 leading. I was wrong. Ethanols don't usually touch the Sandusky District. It usually touches the Chicago line a lot. I would thought since the ethanol train would have the four power on it. Nah, it's just has some normal NS-AC44C6Ms in the lead. After making out some call-outs, this one's 64 Q from Chicago to Salama, North Carolina. We don't need to get a lot of ethanol, this one's in it as needed. After another 10 minutes later, we would get another train on the B line. This one is 332. From Avon to Cumberland, Maryland. With four CSX units in the lead, and then a bunch of leasers being trailed on the 332 today. One is a BNSF switcher, an XSP Southern Pacific, and the other switcher. Well, this was definitely top of the catch of the day. We, I would not know about this catch or anything about it because, well, Usually, sometimes, 332, these pieces have normal power on it. But I've been noticing, 332 can have a lot of leasers going for Lordstown, Ohio. 
So that's where they've been going, and that's where they're going to be going scratched or stored at of North Town, Ohio. NS-273 from Wellnope, Virginia to all the way to Detroit, Michigan. A solo 1844-inch would be leading the way on this animal. However, we would get some DPUs on this one, because this is a long-ass animal. And, well, a solo leader usually means there is some DPUs in the middle of the train. Fun fact, we do have some DPUs. It's a BNSF and an ACC EMD. Both of them are being as mid DPUs today. Usually 273 is the night one from here. Lumerian, of course. And especially middle area. But sometimes it's not, sometimes it is. Today we're just got lucky to catching it.
I don't know what this train is, is but I think this one's a local. Especially this unit of Jivo that is long hood forward with a couple of ROS. Either way, I don't know what the symbol. But, however, it's running on the B line, so that's pretty cool still. But we would never see any more after this getting this one. But we would get another one after getting this one. And that's 277 with 3173 with the Lake Erie sticker. Thanks, 3173 West 1. 101, 102, clear M, 277, 27. After getting many and many of reports of 277, I would thought 3173 would be leading. 217 from Philadelphia to Louisville, Kentucky, but it's not 217, it's 277, it's bound for Louisville, Kentucky, but it's still cool to see 3173, you know, it's really nothing big, it has a sticker on it, it's a little circle sticker on it. This is our last train here at Merriam. But at this time, I will be back on a somewhat well in the Buckeye State Well. I don't know where you guys are, where I'm going just yet, but I'm I know where I'm going. You guys don't. And we're back. Today is going to be the 28th of October, 
and we're going to be well fitting here at Java Road between Pine and Familiar. It's been, been a while since I've been to Java, and since it's going to be autumn colors for the season, and it would be kind of good just to get some autumn pictures here by the tracks on the Chicago line in the Cleveland district as well. This one is an Athenol train. It's going to Conway, where the foreign power will get you up, but it's actually going to Wiley Bold, Delaware. So it's got a quite a bit for where its destination's at. It just had a couple BNSL, one up front with an NS leading, and then one as a weird DPU. Twenty eight B ending up being so quickly that I was just chilling in the car, didn't hear a single horn, just listening to the radio, and then gates went down and then twenty eight B just quickly approaching. With a couple being us up in the lead, which is still pretty cool to see, but it, it was a short. Twenty eight B you should be long. They were short today. We do get another eastbound. This one's another in a modal. I have no clue what the symbol on this one would be, but an AC44 C6M in the lead and a tier 4 GLO ET44AH trail in second. On a Zen modal that we're about to get.
I was picking up Fossilia from here in Java. I was picking up some pretty interesting stuff here at Java. Pretty much the word subdivision. It's not that far from here, but still I was picking up a lot. I have a tall McKenna on my radio, so I can pick up a lot. Especially the truth on here. That's pretty impressive with the McKenna I have. And in fact, I am not wrong. We did have this eastbound coming, and then having a westbound come as well. I thought we would get off of this log, but luck and luck and luck would come. After getting the end of this eastbound, the westbound comes through, right after. What a nice crew on 11N. 11N is basically Dolmonis, New Jersey, to all the way to Starting Heights, Michigan. With the UP, Gila sec second out. And 11N usually sometimes during the night and during the day. But all the times we can count here, we always see 11N during the day. That was just one time that we did not see 11 at. But this is the third time we have seen 11 here, and here. It might be a little short due to clip, but it's kind of long. But however, we do get another eastbound as well. And if you can see the headlight, that's another eastbound on our Chicago line. We sure do say on the ATCS board, we do have an eastbound on the Cleveland District that will be coming out above you. 316, either that or 10Q. I was getting a lot of stuff on the radio that either 10Q or something else was coming out of uh, the If you in the lead in a AC44C6M, turn second on the Zenimoto. Okay, so I'm here at the uh, crossing on the Cleveland District, and I would just get so many trains that would go by on the Chicago line that I would just miss them. Just after waiting for 30 to 45 minutes, 10Q will come around the corner, and this shot is incredible. And I mean incredible. It's, it's cloudy, but the autumn colors here, by the Cleveland District, so gorgeous. I don't know if it's because of the footage and pictures, by my eyes, it's just so cool. Thank you, Claire. Jabba World.
or the other signal. After waiting 10 Q with Claire, so it would say that we would get another westbound, another train, on the Chicago line with the oh, UP SB nice. 70M. It's thrown third on this intermodal that's going by Java. <sighs> Sometimes that ha that has to happen. 315. Clear westbound for Bellevue with a CTFX. Swelling third, NS will lead them into their roster. They can't leave, but it was cool just to see one. 315 is a East Birmingham, two all the way to Bellevue.
we're basically back here at the Chicago line. Get another train. Here we go. With a UP Gelo Trump second. We just been seeing a lot of form power trail fail. Whatever. We're getting trains. It's cool. And however they would fly. We would only get a few more trains. Because they would actually tie down for a bit. So with this one going by, it's cool. I got the drone, but I'm not going to put any of it in this video. Because, why not? It's my video, so whatever. 23G or something like that? I don't know what the symbol on this one. It's a little mortal found for Chicago. I like this spot. We're like out in the middle of nowhere, and you can hear horns from like miles away without being in a town where you can't hear the horn besides like a mile. This time, at this spot, you can like hear them from like like three to four miles away, even though they're in Huron and Chameleon. So that's why I like this spot. And the P5 on the 1844C6M had a large ego. So that's pretty cool. At least I got that on a recording on this video. And this is a sand train. I don't know why that center beam is on that, in the middle of that train. But we do get a lot of sand trains, but the most likely is 39, or I just don't. See them. They they usually have a lot of form power, but and a star on a sand train is full sometimes too. With a weird DPU on the front. I would say if you hear that horn, we get our last train here at Java. After having a two-day weekend of well fanning, have to go back home and just show out for the rest of the day. Thankfully, the autumn colors are still out and the leaves have not fall yet. So that's I gotten pretty good pictures. Even though the one spot on the Cleveland district would have been perfect. I saw another spot before we got to Java. That would have been perfect as well. Anywho, with the two day weekend of well heading, it was a pretty good weekend I would say with autumn colors. A dash knife and a Giro would lead the Athenal turn. This Athenal train came from Wiley Bold, Delaware, and then 
I didn't think it switched the power since it was two NS's reading. It actually, after getting this, you could head on home and I would actually chase the train a bit since we were on the tail end of the train. He is hauling it, so it is going to be quick of the video here. Anywho, I hope you guys really enjoyed this hour-long video, once again. I like making hour videos. They're entertaining. And better than 5 to 4 1 minute video that's not worth just uploading. So I just put every single video and clips or whatever into one video or whatever. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the Michigan State. Or the Buckeye State well.